Bomb disposal technicians collect the pieces of a Russian missile that slammed into a warehouse in Kramatorsk Tuesday afternoon. The missile killed a 40-year-old worker, injured three others. Doctors patch up one of the wounded from the afternoon strike. Since Russia invaded Ukraine almost two months ago, the staff here has had no rest. We weren't preparing for this, says Dr. Vitali Krilenko. Now we're doing only urgent surgeries. One operation ends and another begins, this time a soldier wounded on the front line. Even here, glass doors must be taped to minimize shattering in case of bombing. Sandbags cover the windows. The director of this hospital says thanks to help from abroad, they do not lack for medicine or equipment. What they desperately need is neurosurgeons. That in a war where intense bombardment is the norm. These men are recovering in a special unit specializing in treating concussions sustained in artillery bombardments. When shelling is just steps away, the damage is invisible, but it's there. They suffer from intense headaches, nausea, dizziness, and disorientation. Am I tired? A bit, says Roman, who twice has suffered concussions. Not all wounds bleed. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Kramatorsk, Ukraine.